I originally uh, was from Pennsylvania National Guard. I transferred to Texas and I joined an engineer unit uh, which didn't hold my MOS, but I really wanted to stay in this unit. So they offered 12 November schooling. Had no experience in operations, but I was definitely curious and excited to start. My home unit is a 444 engineer company out of Oswego, New York. I currently reside in East Syracuse, New York. My home unit is making a 12 November platoon in which we will have dozers, trucks and trailers, backhoes, and I think some cranes. And I'm going to be one of the team leaders in it, and I'll be in charge of a uh, dozer team along with a fellow NCO of mine. Skills that I picked up here throughout the course, I got to know the equipment a lot better, what it's capable of, at the same time what it can't do, how to properly take care of it, do something to standard. And I also learned that it's a lot more challenging to do it yourself than just watch somebody do it. Anybody can watch somebody do something and sit there and say, oh, I can do that. But until you actually get into the piece of equipment and try doing it yourself, you're not gonna know what it's like. And some of the stuff is easy, sure. Some of the stuff is pretty challenging. At first, I, I felt a little intimidated because I, I believe I was the only one with no experience. The instructors definitely create a great atmosphere. Not knowing anything, they really made me comfortable and now I, I can say that I'm confident enough to hop on any equipment and operate it. I could have went anywhere in the whole country and I picked West Virginia. This has been the best school, hands down, best Army school I've been to. Got to understand the equipment good, got a lot of good stick time with everything, um, all the maintenance required. We was very professional no matter what the rank. Um, everybody held that leadership role each day. Again, everybody was very professional no matter what the, the ranking. I was actually active duty Marine Corps combat engineer. We worked with the, the Army quite a bit when I was active duty, and uh, we was thoroughly impressed. Camp Dawson is a good place. The instructors are very friendly. They take their time to do one-on-one -on -one work. If they see you're struggling with something, they'll come over, they'll explain to it. If you ask them, they'll give you a demonstration on and walk you through why they did what they did and how they did it. And the instructors are well aware of this. The only way you're gonna learn how to be efficient at something is to make your own mistakes, which is where they thrive on giving you the reins. They let you make the mistake and then they ask you what you think you did wrong. You guys discuss it, you work through it, and next thing you know, you do it again and it's perfect. I'll be going back to Texas, uh, back to the border mission. They will definitely need a lot of operators. Excited to go back, <laughs> knowing what I know now. <laughs> Them guys are hands down amazing. They got very good knowledge, very professional. They interact with the students like if needing help, they didn't kind of down you about it. Very professional, I was thoroughly Thoroughly impressed with each and every one of them. Anybody that you know wants to do the 12 November course, this is one you want to pick.